pass, everyone. So today, let's talk about include. What's include? We use it a lot, right? We use include sdio.h. Uh, SD we use include change.h. We use it a lot, but what's it? Why we need it? And what's the process in our compiler to deal with this? So here's an example. Uh, usually, we have a source code, uh, change.c, main.c, this kind of stuff. We have main function, we have a couple of global variable, we have a lot of detail, but we usually put include before it. But what's the include? Do you think include is very similar to define? It is, right? So actually, include this command will also be processed in our preprocessor. So our preprocessor will work on it. But how to work on it? Okay, so here's the thing. And what's the difference between the library and uh, our uh, own defined library, uh, uh, the edge, this header file? So it's also a different story, right? So let's look at the example. Okay. In our source code, if we want to include some standard library, we will use include um, this symbol, the library name stdio.h, string.h, we will use it. But if we want to include the header file we have, we use quotation, this mark, quotation, my include.h, we will use it. But why we need to do this? Because our preprocessor need to know uh, what's the, like, what's the pro procedure it needs to use to process this uh, include stuff. So let's look at this example. We define the include uh, a header file, uh, my include the edge, and we define a couple like a uh, different stuff, which can be processed by your preprocessor. And of, of course, it's defined a function, function then called my test. And inside the main function, uh, main.c files, except for the main function, we also have a my test. So which means we we declare, we declare this uh, function name in the head file. Then we implement the, the body, the function body inside main.c. But here's the thing, because we use my test, right? Because we use my test, which means we need to declare it before we use it. Inside the main function, we use it. Inside the main function, we uh, inside the main function, we use my test. So which means we should define before it. But we did not. We did not. Why your compiler say, okay, it's fine, we can do it. Because, because your preprocessor, when it's do the preprocessing, it's actually copy the code in your include the edge, my include the edge, copy the code inside this file, pass into your source code. So this is actually the source code used to compile. Okay, so this is the idea why you need to include, because you can put some information in your include, uh, in your header file, then reuse this information to support your source code. This include stuff, if we want to support like a thousand uh, files of source code, we have a lot of source code, we want to uh, link this source code together, we want to uh, write like a different function to support a, a project, uh, it's already built by someone, I just want to write a small function to support it, in this case, there's a lot of source code. How, how can I use this header file to make it efficient, make this process efficient? So here's the idea, how to use include. See, let's check this example. We have a change.c, we have a change.2.c, we have a main.c. Inside a change.c, uh, we define a function convert. And inside change2.c, we define another function called convert2. But inside of convert two, we use convert. So definitely, we need to de define it. We de we need to define convert before we use it, right? So we define convert before the function convert two. Then in the main function, because we use convert, we can use convert, and we can also use convert two. So we need to declare it before we use it. So we define the convert and convert two before the main function. So you will see. Okay, I there's so many duplicated definition in different uh, different files. In change 2.c, I defined convert, convert to. In main.c, I also need to define convert, convert to. 
it's it's so redundant, right? So if you remember the the trick, what we have, if you you if you have a head file, your preprocessor will preprocess this head file, the content in this head file, and copy it to your actual file. So if you know how to do it, actually you can simplify this code by using this. You just include a change.h file. Include change.h file, and you put everything, convert, convert to this description into this change.h file. So no matter how many source code, how many new source code you will have, they only need to include one .head file to get change one, change two, to use convert uh, and convert to function. Just define one, head file because you already declare this function name inside this head file. So how to make your project uh, project development more uh, efficient? One tip, put your function declaration on your head file and share this head file. So if you want to add more and more uh, source code, you can just update this head file, just provide more description. For example, I want to create a new function called function function Joe. I can just put the description Joe on the head file. Then I can still reuse everything I already have. This is the idea. Okay, you can also use uh, the head file to do some like a cool stuff. For example, you can define the structure. They have structure inside this head file. Uh, for example, you, if you want to build a really complicated bogan stuff, probably a lot of source files will share the same structure. For example, your bogan map, right? You have a bogan map need to be shared in different function, different source code. And how the structure of the bogan map, you don't need to redefine it again, again, again in different files because they share the same information, same bogan structure. So you can just define the bogan structure inside a head file, use include, copy this definition into these files when you like uh, compiled, okay? So uh, this is one way you can use uh, your head file efficiently, uh, just define some like structure. You can also simplify your structure layer. For example, you can define a new type uh, by just use type diff to redefine some type. You can also put some new value uh, to support uh, every source code you have. For example, you want to uh, have a consistent calendar style, like a January, February, this keyword styles stuff. You can use enum to define it and put it on your head file. Then it supports every single source code you have. If you want to use this calendar system, then you can just use this keyword, enum type keyword, right? So it's really, really useful uh, to use this header file and put like so common information into the header file. This is a short lecture. I hope you enjoy it. And include is so powerful. If you use it correctly, it will make your process, make your uh, pro program developer very efficient, okay? So don't forget these tips and it will help you uh, in your future projects, okay? so. Uh, that's for today. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Include is awesome.